All right, Wonder Twins, the Vulcan Twins, right? Spock's kids is what they look like, if you ask me. We're going to jump on into this, but first I want to show you. I got some new books recently. I uh, went to the comic book shop. Well, actually, I should say to everybody, uh, five, this is the Fivefold Understanding YouTube Variety Channel, where we call it like we see it. Occasionally, read and review sample comic books simultaneously together and the light in the attic is already as always on so welcome 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 and to a few of you who probably been here before welcome back. okay now that we got that out of the way this is just a video i shot earlier and uh it's just too shaky and whatnot i went to the bookstore last what was it friday and then i had to stop at walmart so i got some had to get the new man of superman I wanted to get that because I knew it was going to sell out. And then when I went back this Wednesday, you you know it, that was sold out. That one's going to be worth some loot. I might have to do a read and review at least some of that. It's a big book. Uh, prestige format, Marv Wolfman, a Superman story that had been inventory shelved for the most part. Uh, especially something like that, powerful and strong, you know, like a... Whatever happened to the Cape Crusaders, when I see stuff like that, you know, I think of the classic Superman stories, uh, some of the Alan Moore stuff and whatnot. Anyhow, I got a bunch of new books on Friday at the store and Walmart, some 100-page giants. And then what was interesting was Saturday, I had to get something at Target. And, uh, and for the most part, this is just a proof of purchase video, and I'll get into that momentarily. But this one right here, look at this. I got this book for free. And she picked it up like this. I do give away exclusives at Target. I got a Voltron, like 100 page trade there for free. And she picked it up like this. Well, I don't see no price on it. And I didn't either initially, you know. And there is no price on the book if you check it out, right? And the way the girl picked it up, she was like, yeah, they do give away exclusive stuff. And she's right because they had a Voltron thing not too long ago. And they do it on the end cap section, like the toy aisle on the back on the end cap for some, like a new toy line or whatever. And they'll put out like a book with it or a magazine or like this here, the 100 page giant for DC's Primal Age. This is like some cool Elseworld stuff. I haven't really gotten too far into it, but it's, uh, you know, multiversity, a new earth, right? DC's Primal Age. And this is the first appearance of that earth, uh, medieval Game of Thrones sort of themed. So I got that, and like 10 bucks. so I was happy as hell to get that for free. I don't know if I would have bought it knowing it was 10 bucks. Not that it isn't worth it, because the Superman or the Walmart 100-page Giants are only five bones, and uh, those have such a plethora of material in them. And we will get into uh, Wonder Twins here, but like, yeah, in the Superman, you get Green Lantern, Johns' is Green Lantern, post-rebirth, you know, the area between Sinestro Core and after rebirth. You buy the six issue of the Superman 100 page giant, you get the six issue of Green Lantern. They got the Terrifics in there. Uh, so why pay $2.99 for the Terrifics when you can also get them for five bucks with Superman Batman? You know, classic, probably the best series DC ever did. Modern series, anyhow, and Green Lantern all for five bucks. Probably the best book of the year. And you get the exclusive stuff like this right here. Uh, Andy Kubert Superman story to start it all off. These books are awesome. I'm not kidding you, especially the Superman one. You get such a wealth of material for the price. We went over Primal Age, and then uh, let's see, I got this here too. That was ripping on him in that echo chamber. At least some of these. At least some. At least some worldwide. Because that was ripping on Cal. Show the other books we're going to do. Or just check them out real quick. Um. I got, you know, Wonder Twins, Detective, Scooby-Doo team up, probably the best $2.99 book going. And I will jump into Wonder Twins right now. Just let me speak on this real quick. Sorry for making you wait with this little prelude, prelude thing I got going on here. Uh, the top of your screen, check out that Comics Gate is Comics Explain YouTube and call Killing, uh, Guilty for Killing the Industry, Industry Sales Decline. They have millions of subs, millions of views. Perfect example in this video is this guy has a DC Metals playlist with more videos in the playlist than there are comic books in the crossover itself. Everything's eh, 
start at like the eight or nine minute mark I get into it there and that's why I do in the proof of purchase video here there's people complaining in the comment section you know whatever that uh, people are doing comics for free bootlegs and putting them up for free online and so that's what I'm saying it's my proof of purchase video right here I'm not gonna go bootlegging and Hire omnibus and put it up online like uh, comics explained and those guys do you go talk to people at your comic book shop oh I haven't read this I no, I didn't read that I seen it on YouTube you didn't read any of DC metal because you seen it on YouTube well and you wonder why sales are declining you know a big problem the sales decline comics gate it isn't always these PC SJW uh, non playable characters socialist reform true that's part of it but a big part of it is it's there's too much given out free on YouTube on the biggest channels around here we just sample books sample read through and reviews to get you the reader back into the comic book shop that's why we do this or at least why I do some of what I'm doing this is a truth channel at least for the most part you're not gonna catch any bullshit around here and that's why I like to always speak on it and go beyond comics you know that's what I mean for the most part sure we do comics but we want to speak on the truth part of it too and not bullshit everybody like a lot of these shill comic book channels are doing so anyways here's a sample read through and review new wonder comics wonder twins Bendis's new line aimed at getting kids back in the comic book shops so why not I help a little here they can read the number one here if you like it go by number two you know maybe we can give you a little compass we did Green Lantern last time Morrison's new Green Lantern off the charts awesome this is a variant cover here by uh, Dustin Nyguin you might know him from Heart of Hush House of Hush and Hush Money basically Detective Comics 846 through 852 then it echoes into Streets of Gotham it's like issues 1 through 4 and uh, I don't know just check it out it's some good stuff he did a lot of good detective work that artist although that is a watercolored thing that he started with his Gotham uh, Gotham for kids line or whatever that was anyhow here we go Morris High School Wonder Twins number one these people haven't shown up since super friends right that's at least the last time I seen the Vulcan twins Spock's twin children or whatever you want to call them so anyways it's been a while so let's jump into it right off the bat you can see over here in the corner circus featuring sad elephants his little shout at the Republican Party you know that's so sorry these people are they don't understand it's for the most part it's a false left right paradigm that's the truth of that okay your best thing is to not even vote I ain't even kidding you nothing changes that's what it really seems like nothing changes and corporate powers influence the political spectrum especially with the flood of money from the Democratic into the Democratic Party from the tech giants who are spying on all of us good morning Wolfpack and then you look up here in this corner check this out delusions of grandeur it's like they're framing the comic right off the bat for it to be in a garbage run or a garbage issue number one's got to hit hard and be deep in my opinion here we go and then a sad announcement's the next thing you read all frame in the book in a negative light you know like inherently on a cerebral level but it gets weirder written by Mark Russell art by Stephen Byrne You see there in the upper left corner, ask your doctor if normalisis, what is it? Normalisis? Normalists is right for you. Yeah. Try to make everybody gay. That's what I get the feeling these people are trying to do anyway. Like, you know, force people into transgenderism. A definite satanic framework around the entire thing. Look up the Baphomet. Androgynous pagan deities. And why is Flash in there eating lunch? I have no idea. And 
And then you see right here again coming from the loudspeaker, finally today is Heritage Day, so please take a moment to tell somebody how your ancestors have embarrassed you. So they're really uh, trying to brainwash these kids into these socialist viewpoints as far as I'm concerned. You know? It's the whole uh, anti-white straight male agenda. Anti-white straight male Christian agenda is what it is. And it's sad. It's a satanic agenda. That's 100% at the root of it. Especially when it's backed by Silicon Valley money. And that's Trevor. Now here's our boy right here. He comes from the planet Exor. Where everything is this beautiful utopia, apparently. They've conquered every social problem imaginable. And then they got to institute that social word, right? Because that's what these people are. Social justice. The social justice mob. And there's another precedent. Cerebrally set. Almost... Uh, subliminally i can never think of that word you know so right off the bat you got subliminal snooze fest right that's what's going on there subliminal snooze fest from your main character mind you sad elephants this uh narrator coming from the loudspeaker telling everybody Normalism isn't right for you. And uh, take a moment to reflect on your ancestors and how they've embarrassed you. You know, it's, it's not a good frame. It really isn't. And then this thunder lust with the purple lightning. Just this sex orgy due to the what is going on here? Whenever there's a thunderstorm, Exorian adults will drop whatever they're doing and start tearing off their clothes. Why is that in this comic? You know, what a dumb thing to... Even if that is part of the mythology, which I don't think it is, why have that on like the third page after already subliminally framing this as a very negative piece of literature? Yeah, how a justice appears, which is nice, because I think that's where these kids first showed up, right? Super friends. And we all know the super friends for da -da, da -da, the hall of justice. Moving forward. So the kids are changelings. Batman's already looking at the strategic value of it. Superman looks like he's 19 years old. And Wonder Woman's like, water? And there you go, more of that subliminal framing. Underwhelming. I am underwhelmed. Like, so far, everybody who's reading this is underwhelmed. And that's made more apparent by you having the characters use that in the dialogue. What are these writers doing? Maybe I read it too fast sometimes for you guys. Well, at least they're enrolled in school. A school that seems, you know, pretty, uh, hell-bent on brainwashing them, anyhow. So, Clark figures he'd sort out the particulars later. He brought them to Earth. Okay. 
Batman wants him to stay out of his way. And you see Batman's got the briefs back on. And I don't even read Batman. I've watched some of these new detectives that you could see earlier. And that's the most Batman I've read since being really insulted by Tom King taking the Dark Knight out of Batman and instituting his Seinfeld comics. His Seinfeld scripted Batman comics. You know, where they go eat hamburgers. And then that other one I read, uh, they were going to the fair together. Going to the carnival. So it's kind of nice they do give shout-outs to the old Super Friends cartoon, you know. They discovered a body in the park. He says, congratulations. It's a dead pilgrim. mix a pilect The body shows signs of temporal, displace, temporal displacement and a quantum signature consistent with the fifth dimension. And there's uh, Superman doing karaoke. <laughs> Look at him. So they all go to the park and get zapped. The kids stay behind. You know, it's like she kind of wants to help. She's a little bit more, she has her feet on the ground. Zane's a little bit more goofy, you know, kind of image concerned. They want to find a trans-dimensional animal that that she can shapeshift into that can drag somebody's body back into the fifth dimension. And now it's all about the music. See, he wants to be the most popular boy in school. You can always meet, mute me and read on your own, too. But that wouldn't be no fun, would it? That's good ice, damn fine ice. Coach says I'm indispensable. And so this is his imagination running wild here. You two should just go home. Well, they can't go home. You brought them to Earth. See, and right here, we don't know what happened with the fight with Mixapitalik, so it'd be nice to have a little thing in the corner. Read Justice League 64 to see what happens in Central Park, you know? Tie the universe in together. Yeah, there's more of those death clouds. The sex clouds are coming to... Uh, a Smallville near you. Purple Lightning, little Prince shout out, maybe. In our alternate forms, time to race to school. Whoosh! Wonder Twins act powers activated. Blim, 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 blim. That's his new catchphrase. Why did he say that there? Oh, he did say it. Okay. And Superman's sending out memos to all the members and affiliates, making them aware of the limited options they have to deal with Mixapitalict. Either we trick him into saying his word, his name backwards, like they're stuck in a German fairy tale. Yeah, I suppose you could poke a little fun at that. Or do we use a tachyon trap? 
This is kind of cool here. Tachyons are the only subatomic particles known to transverse dimensions. By fusing this quantum structure with a tachyon field, we can open up our own trans-dimensional rift and send Mixopitalic back to the fifth dimension. Reminds me of uh, the slideaways from McDuffie's Justice League run. Uh, Justice League of America, Volume 2. After Tornado's Path and the Lightning Saga's beginning, McDuffie shows up for like issues 28, 29, and maybe 31 through 36. Introduces Icon and Hardware and that big, hot, tall, redhead broad uh, with the red jumpsuit, Donner. And then McDuffie passes away. R.I.P. He was a good dude. He'd really talk to you at Comic-Cons, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Zane's stuck in the sewer. How does the coach know about trans-dimensional death clouds? Yeah, I don't know where the coach knows. So the track coach, is that the same hockey coach? I got to check it out real quick. Sure looks like it. Yeah, so maybe he's just a gym teacher. What is it? Morris High. I got a nickname today with his head down. Isn't that what you wanted? Thunderlust. <laughs> so that whole Thunderlust thing was set up to, to give him a nickname, huh? That's really stupid. He doesn't ever want to go back there again. So that's like him going through puberty, huh? He's just embarrassed by it. Like his balls dropped or something. <laughs> Here's Batman's telling him his story when his balls dropped. <laughs> what is going on here? I'd even secretly written a love song about her, which I left on my desk. The teacher thought it was poetry <laughs> and read it to the entire class. To be sung to the tune of How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, well, Bee Gees better nickname than Thunderlust, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they need to do more Superman American Alien stuff and do some younger stuff with him. Oh, that's right, they could have done it with Jonathan Kent and Super Sons, but they... You know, went and made him older right away. <laughs> Another great idea by Bendis. Hopefully those keep Super Super Sons going, because that's a really fun comic book. High school is a buffet line of humiliations, and everybody gets a plate. And that's a good line by Batman. Once you graduate, you'll never see those people again. And for the most part, you really don't, do you? Super fools! You thought you could draw me into your trap. Mixopitalic, the scourge of the fifth dimension. He shatters the floodgates of space time. Unraveling the illusion that your pathetic fourth dimensional minds call reality. And see, that's what it is. It's these people, to a degree, are trying to switch reality with this, you know, anti-white uh, guilt agenda. They're trying to uh, reconstruct reality, and that's not good. You know, especially when there's whole groups of them putting the propaganda everywhere.
And just like that, she takes care of them with the computer trick. So she's pretty smart, thinks on her feet, while Zan's more, you know, caught in that wonderlust, or what is it, the thunderlust. And for the most part, subliminally, anyhow, the writer sums up the entire comic on what, like the fourth or fifth page? Underwhelming. And that's so funny how they do that, in my opinion. And and why did and what was the point of having the Flash show up here just to give him a little cameo time maybe? You know, always listen to the loudspeaker kids because they're usually lying to you and trying to reshape your reality. Take a moment to tell somebody how your ancestors have embarrassed you. Well, this comic book, for the most part, embarrassed you, and it sure as shit wasn't any it. it, it it could, this could have really been something, too, I think. And they had to kind of twist it, you know. You just got to kind of twist it. Twist your reality right here with Wonder Twins Wonder Comics. Maybe next time we'll have something much better to read and review. Because as you can see from the show and proof video, I got a lot of comics to check out. So throw me a sub. Until next time, the saga continues.